Bible study. Um, tell daddy I'm not going to <coughs> I'm sick. <coughs> he sent no excuse today, Chris. You already have been a couple months, so um, you're going whether you like it or not. See, I went to my friend Abel's church over on the west side. That do not count, because you and I both know that April's dad is a pimp, a drug dealer, a murderer, and a she rapper, so I can't be a pastor. See, Kevin, now there you go judging people. Just because he's not all holy like all those other people doesn't mean he can't be a pastor. Remember, Kevin? Cut him some slack. He's only human. Look, I'm not going to try to hear all that right now, okay? Because I know for a fact that he can't be a pastor. Right and he's going to end up going to hell playing with God like that. That's all I'm saying. Okay, whatever, Kevin. Well, look. Have you seen this new episode of... You better listen. And you're going to church whether you like it. Oh, my God, Kevin. Look, I'm just so sick of going to church. Now, if church was like the club, I'll be all in there like, Go, Jesus. Go, Jesus. Go Jesus, go Jesus, go Jesus, go, go, go Jesus. Yeah, I'll be go saying Jesus. no crystal, go. no crystal, no. I'm going to start praying for you because you're the devil. And you got some demons up in that needs to come out. And if you keep acting that way, I see you going to hell. Kevin, look, I'm going to get myself together, okay? Just not. Now, it's just our dad is a pastor and he's so strict. No drinking, no smoking. No clubbing, no no sex before marriage. Girl, what you listening to? Turn that devil's music off. I mean, Kevin, what can we do around here? Where's the fun? You know he's just trying to help us out, right? Because if not, we'll end up dying and going to hell. All right, whatever, Kevin. Kevin, Crystal, let's go. We're going to be late. All right, Pops, we coming. Hurry up and get dressed before Pops come up here. I know you don't want that. All right, give me 10 minutes. How about this? Crystal, no. No. Look look at your shoe. Look at your best. No. Go change. What? You got on gym shoes and basketball but shoes. Go cute? change. Go change, Crystal. See, that's why I don't like you. That's why I don't like Crystal. Hey, hey. Can we drop stop this morning? Gee, Crystal. Enough is enough, y'all. For real. Kevin and Crystal. Enough is enough. Really? You're acting like kids right now. Kevin, stop. I'm not in the mood. Never in the mood. Need to watch the little action. What do you mean? Need to learn how to shut up. Oh, you were so disrespectful. Hey, hey, hey. Why don't both of y'all go somewhere and sit down and shut up? He started it. Why are you gonna blame me on Tay? You won't start it. Cause you. Hey, I don't care who started it. Both of y'all go hush up now. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Anyways, how you doing, Granny? Because we missed you at Bible study tonight. I'm all right. I'm still in a little bit of pain, but you know, by his stripes, I am healed. That's good. Amen to that, Granny. So, how was Bible study? Uh, it was good. Show granddaughter over here talking and texting in church all day long. What else you want me to do? Go to sleep? Girl, say something else, smart. Well, girl, you better respect your father and God, too. God didn't wake you up to come to his church and play. He wants you to worship him. Later for your so-called friends, don't get caught up in them. They'll get you in a world of trouble. I know, Granny. 
I'm trying. I really am. Well, you better. Because I'm not too old to whoop you, little girl. <laughs> I know, Granny. I love you. I love you, too. Mm. Well, my look. We're about to get ready to get out of here. Take this girl to pick up her clothes. I'll oh, see you later, okay, right? Sweetie. Love you. I love you, too. You be careful, all right? All right, just hope I don't kill this girl. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Kevin, you know your ex-girlfriend Amber's supposed to be stopping by here later on. Granny, you know I do not care about that girl. She's wrong, she's dirty, she's just trifling. I, I don't want anything to do with her. I mean, yeah, I might still have feelings for her, but, you know, she it's just a wrap on that, you know? Well, Kevin, you acting like this is all her fault. You know it takes two to have sex, right? Granny, she gave me HIV. And that's just not a code that's going to get up and go away, okay? Well, that's why you're not supposed to have sex before you get married. And don't tell me about any condoms because those are not 100% secure. So to be on the safe side, don't have sex before you get married. That can keep you from getting diseases, having a baby at a young age, and it'll keep you from disobeying the Lord. Man, it's a little bit too late for that. I'm just a walking dead person with a daily disease. Don't say that. Because Proverbs says that death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. So we speak life to you. You got to pray to God. Pray, pray, and pray some more. You got to walk the walk, and you got to talk the talk in this life with Jesus. Don't get caught up in your friends. Just focus on the Lord. You know, get in your schoolwork and there any other responsibilities you have, all right? No, you're right. And I am trying to live for Jesus. Well, you just keep on keeping on, sweetie. I will, Granny. I love you. I love you, too. Can you get the door for me? Sure, Granny. Uh, it's you. Granny, uh, I'm about to go, okay? Okay, sweetie. Remember what I said. Ugh, how do you two? What's with his attitude? Hey, Amber, how you doing, sweetie? Hey, Mother. I'm not doing so good. My mother hates me. But what happened? She said she regret having a nasty daughter like me. But I told her the reason why I slept with all those guys is because I needed somebody to show me love. If my family or even my mother was doing what they were supposed to, I wouldn't be in this situation that I'm in. Now I'm stuck with this disease. I swear, my granny is the only one that loves and understands me. Child, listen, don't you ever turn to any guy for any love. If you love yourself, that should be all that matters. And Jesus has all the love you need. If you turn to him, he can be your everything. John 14 says that if a man loves me, he will keep my word. And my father will love him and we will come to him and make our bow with him. So you have to love him and keep his word. But every time I try to live right, I revert back to my old ways. Sex, drinking, partying, just like a regular heathen. It's so much pressure to try to live right, especially being a teen. Amber, sweetie, first you have to repent. Ask God for forgiveness. Accept him in your life as your Lord and Savior. And just ask him to renew your mind. You got to start praying and fasting and ask him to be Lord over your life. You know, take this Bible with you. Take it home with you. And I want you to read Proverbs. It'll teach you about wisdom. Okay, Mother, thanks. I really needed that encouragement. No problem, sweetie. Sometimes you just have to encourage yourself in the Lord. Remember no. that. All right? Okay. Let me get out of here. Okay. And tell your granny I said hi to. I will. Okay. See you later. See ya. So that your deeds of charity may meet in secret, and your father who sees in secret will reward you. Hey, baby. Where you been? And what's that in your hand? Oh, hey. I was over at Mother Weedy House, and she gave me this Bible. She told me to read the book of Proverbs. Ah. Good book of wisdom. That's a good book right there. Yeah, and she told me to tell you hi, too. Did you talk to your mother? Nope. Now I don't plan on talking to her, neither. She's my enemy now. Now, don't say that. She is your mother. You should honor and love her. I know she's my daughter, but the enemy just got a hold of her. I told her don't get caught up in these streets and in these drugs. Well, I don't. I don't have no love for my enemies, and she's one of them, so... And she's worthless to me. She can't do nothing for me. Now, you don't mean that. 
You're just saying that out of anger. Now, I was just reading here in the Bible where it says, Love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you. And pray for them that despitefully use you and persecute you. So that means you must love everyone even if they don't love you back. Grandma, I know, but she hurt me. I can't recover from that. Sometimes I feel like a motherless child, and that hurts me. But turn to God, baby. He has all the answers you need and more. Okay, Granny. I know. I'm about to get ready to go. Me and Crystal are supposed to be going out. Okay. Remember what I said now. I know, Granny. Okay. Amber, Amber, Amber. Go open the doors. Come on. Hey, girl, you ready Ready? You ain't going nowhere tonight. You got your flat irons on? I thought you said you was ready. Ready? Where's we going? I thought you said we was going out. And where is your flat irons? I know I said we were going out, but I invited a couple sexy guys, so we're still going to do our thing. And my flat irons go. I don't know where my flat irons are. You let Boquisha borrow them, and you know she don't never give them back. I probably did. And anyway, I don't know about all this. Besides, I'm not ready for this. Now, what would your dad and your grandma say? Where are they at? Girl, I don't know where they are, and I'm not worried about them. If they don't find out, that's cool. But if they do, I can handle them. <laughs> what do you? What would your dad say? Girl, I don't listen to my dad. Everything he says goes in one ear and out the other. Guess it won't hurt a little. I know. Just have fun. Live a little. <laughs> You're right. Good girl. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I think that's Sam Marco. Let me go get the door. Hold up. You talking about sexy Marco with the dimples that used to date your friend Brittany? Yes, I'm talking about that Marco. Mm. But Brittany is not my friend no more. She's got all holy, so I can't mess with her no more. Mm, that's fine with me. What you blushing? Girl, how she gonna let him in? <laughs> all right. Something I haven't really gotten all my life. Mm, okay. You know I'm the love doctor. That's what's up. Come on, sit down. Okay. <laughs> so, you guys want something to drink? Um, I'll take some water. What you want? Um, you can give me some water. Water? Amber, you want to help me? Sure, I'll help you. Y'all can play okay. pool while we're getting y'all something to drink, alright? Alright, thank I'll you. I'll help you guys. Let's go down these sticks, boy. Mm. Hey. Oh. <laughs> man, she cold, bro. I told you, man. Good looking, dog, you know? No problem, man. I'm glad you came. But, uh, like, you know, what's going on? Like, you ain't nothing, she ain't got nothing? I don't know, man. I didn't hurt her word on the street. You know, she might, but, mm. you know, just be safe. Wrap it up. Like, three wrap, four wrap. <laughs> man, just try one. Try one. I'm scared. Got me scared, man. Oh, my God, Amber. They are looking extra sexy tonight. Yeah, I know. But, you know, I can't do anything because of my little problem. I hear you, Amber. Besides, they're not trying to do nothing with you on the first night. <laughs> Girl, please. Anyway, that's cool, because I really don't want to give them the real reason why. Then you look at me different. Yeah, I know what you mean. Besides, they're nice guys. They ain't gonna trip. You ready? Yep, this water thing just take forever. He don't need that much water. All right, let's go. Bro, you ain't ready for me on this pool type. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Thank you, baby. Here you go, baby. Thanks, you, it's so good. Yeah. You made this? Yeah. Mm. This ain't ordinary water. So what you ladies up to tonight? Nothing 
nothing much. Was just waiting on you two sexy guys. Yeah, is that right? Yeah, just get my life right with God. Hey, man. What's what's up? There's Lord over there. Let me show you how to do this right quick. Oh, oh. <laughs> Head stretch. Oh, yeah. And can I talk to you over there? Sure. Real quick. Now, like. Be too warm. Thank okay, you. So let's go talk over here, friends. I don't know what they're about to go talk about. Amber, what's, what's going on with you? I told you I wasn't trying to do anything, okay? Oh my god, you are working my nerves right now. Well, you're working mine. Look, let's just chill and try to have fun, alright? Nobody's saying you have to do anything. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna try. Alright, let's go. Plus, you know he's sexy. <laughs> he is. Oh, Amber. Oh, he didn't come back. What are you talking about? Like Nothing. This little girl talk, sweetie. Mm. What's wrong with you? I'm okay. And can you please stop touching me? Oh, my God. Okay, my bad. My bad. Oh, he I'm sorry, Crystal. Yeah. Do we have a problem? Yeah, and you the problem. Well, why don't you come solve it? Hey, hey, ladies, ladies. Can we all just get along? Yeah, chill. I mean, you know, just leave her alone. You know, you see she ain't feeling so good. Yeah, and I know exactly why she's so sick right now. On, Shut up. Nice. Don't even come at me like that. I wouldn't even do you like that. Put my business out there in the street. Come on. Come, would you please stop touching me? Oh, the little baby's getting mad. <laughs> Y'all, the reason why the girl's so sick is because she got HIV. Oh. <sighs> like real HIV? Yeah, like real HIV. Bro, I, I thought you. Was, I didn't know. I, ugh. That's what little girls get that are too nice to everybody. Bro. Uh, I think it's time for us to go. Ooh, I hate you! It's time to go. Oh, yeah. Crystal, what's going on in here? Um, you know him? That's your daddy? No, nah, you ain't going nowhere later. Listen, <laughs> pull up these guys and what are they doing in my house, Crystal? Uh, what happened was... Look, don't even try to give me that. I told you no company and you disobeyed me, Crystal. I'm sorry, but I didn't have anything to do. Crystal, it was plenty to do. Read a book. Do your homework. Read your Bible, Crystal. First of all, I'm good on my homework. I got a 2.0 GPA, and reading the Bible is just not going to happen. I mean, Jesus, he talks just a little bit too much for me. Little girl, you really need to respect God. If you don't respect anyone else, and you need to read your word too. Because God forbid, something bad is going to happen to you, Crystal. And I'm not going to be here to save you. But the only one that will be here to save you is Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, Dad. Okay. You know what? And watch that little nasty attitude, too. Look, don't do it for me. You need to try to do it for yourself. And another thing, Crystal. Next year's your senior year. Now, you need to try to bring those grades up if you want to get into that good college. Because that 2.0 you got, oh, that's just not cutting it. Okay, Daddy. Okay. And, Crystal, you need to learn how to be obedient, too. The Bible says, Children, obey the Lord, for this is right. Honor that father and mother. For this is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee, and that you may live long on the earth. I know, Dad. I've heard it a thousand times, okay? All right. But listen, you ain't about to get off that easy. It's going to be some consequences for your actions, young lady. Okay. Now, first of all, I'm going to need your cell phone and your car keys. Your cell phone and your car keys now, Crystal. Now, no phone, no car keys for six months. Until you learn how to be obedient and respectful around but here, what am I you're supposed to do without my cell phone for six months. Crystal, it's simple. Homework, study, and read your Bible. And you need to ask God to save you for real. Because you've been playing with God just a little bit too much for me, Crystal. And enough is enough. Now, I can't live safe for you. you got to live safe for yourself. Okay, Daddy. And, I mean, one more thing. Why, why did Amber run out of here like that crying? Because I told them about her little disease. Crystal. Girl, what is wrong with you? You can't go around telling people business like that. Whatever. I just thought they should know. Lord, what am I going to do with this girl? Oh, my God. Crystal, that is just not cool. Well, Daddy, I'm about to go study a little bit and probably go to sleep a little bit, okay? Listen, just, just remember what I said. Before you go to bed tonight, pray. Ask God to save you, Crystal. Okay. All right? Can I take my phone? No. Okay. Good night, Dad. Love you. Hey, Emma. Come back here. Where are you going? What's wrong? Crystal told 
these guys about my little disease. Well, why would she do that? I don't know, because she's crazy and she needs to be safe. Come on over here and sit down, baby. And you can't say that because you're not right with God yourself. But I want to be safe, Granny. Then what are you waiting for? I don't know. I guess I just worry about what people would think of me. Oh, baby, never get caught up in what people think about you. Because they're going to talk about you whether you saved or not. So don't get caught up in boys and money and all those so-called friends. Get caught up in Jesus because only what you do for Christ will last. I know, Granny. I want to give my life to Jesus. Yes. Praise the Lord. Baby, put your hands up to the Lord. Father God, in the name of Jesus, save my granddaughter. Cleanse her. Wash her. Renew her body. I rebuke the devil in the name of Jesus. Satan, you can't have her. Satan, you can't have her. Cleanse her body, Lord. Cleanse her heart. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray. Amen. Amen. Now, I want you to pray more than you've been doing, baby, okay? And I want you to get rid of those so-called friends that don't want Jesus in their lives. And trust and believe that the Lord is going to deliver your mother because I believe he will. Okay, Granny. Thank you so much. I needed that. I love you. I love you too, baby. I wonder who is that at the door. Oh, oh it... It's Kevin. Come. Ugh. Don't start. Come on in, Kevin. Hey, Ma. Hey, baby. How you doing? I'm good, and you? I'm doing That's good. That's good. Uh -huh. uh, hey, Amber. Hey. Um, listen, can we talk right quick? I'm going to let you cheer it and go ahead and talk. I'm about to go see some T.D. Jakes. Okay, Mom. So, what's up? <laughs> you? I'm good. That's what's up. Um, look, I'm sorry about what happened to you and my sister. I mean, I know I should get sometimes. Listen, I'm good. I hold my peace and I let the Lord fight my battles. That's cool. I understand that. Um, listen, I know we've been through a lot with each other, and, uh, I hope, you know, there's not, you know, a relationship's going to be perfect. I mean, we are going to have some ups and downs. Yeah, I know. God shows these things for a reason. Exactly. Just get our attention. And, uh, I believe God's going to bring us through this. You know, I just gave my life to Jesus, and uh, I'm going to take this walk with Jesus one day at a time. Oh, my God, Kevin, that is so great. I just gave my life to Jesus, like, five minutes ago. But Kevin, listen, I'm sorry. I never meant for any of this to happen to you and I. You are wonderful and I love you. I guess I just didn't trust you. I thought you were just going to leave me like those other guys did. But I think God's got something good in store for us. And I think the struggle is over between you and I. You know I'm not like that. Okay? I, know. I haven't been perfect, but I know with those other guys, I'm different. But you know what? You're right. Because I still do want to be with you. But I gotta get close to God first, you know, just see if that's what he really wants to do. I agree. But look, um, I'm not gonna shoot the hoops to fail, so um, I'm gonna definitely get at you later, right? Okay. Alright. See you. See you. Wait, um, come on. What's so funny? <laughs> you in here? <laughs> you in here studying this 2.0? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! Figure out my room. you did. Ew. Um, excuse me. What's that ill for? That's my baby. We gonna get married and have a bunch of kids together. Watch. Yeah, HIV babies. What'd you say? Huh? Uh, huh? What? 
Nothing. Yeah, whatever. Good night. Good night. Hey, Crystal. Telephone. Who is it? It's that ghetto girl, Boquisha, something like that. Here. Thanks. Hey. Hello? Hey, girl, what's up? Nothing at home, studying. Studying? When you start studying? My daddy took my car keys and my cell phone, so I figured I would give the studying stuff a, a try. Mm. Well, girl, Joe and his boys are having a party tonight, and they're going to have liquor over there. I'm talking about getting wasted, girl. You really got to come with me tonight. So, you know? Well, Quisha, do you hear me? Did you not just hear me say I'm on punishment and my daddy took my car keys and my cell phone? Girl, he was born to get in trouble. You only got one life to live. You better live it to the fullest. Yeah, I know. All right, maybe I can... Let me see. I'm going to try to get my car keys back, and I'll be on my way. You go, girl. That's the crystal that I know. But let me go and do something to this nappy hair. I should be ready by the time you come over here. All right, bye. How many people... Uh, love to hang out. No raise of hands. Yeah, you, yeah. How many people love to hang out? Well, listen, there's a lot of people who love to hang out. There's a lot of people who like to have fun. But us as a youth need to be careful when we hang out. Okay, we need, if our father says stay put, we need to stay put. If our, if our mother say don't do that, we need to not do that. Okay, if you hang with your friends, your friends are like, come on, we're about to go to this club. They're going to be drinking, they're going to be smoking, they're going to be doing this. Come on, let's go hang out. It's going to be fun. It's going to be awesome. We go back into that scripture and say, don't follow the devil's schemes. Don't listen to the things that he has to say coming against you because those things can get you in a lot, a lot of trouble. You know, I can use my kids as an example. A lot of things they go through, things that they've been through in their life. Oh my God, I've tried my best to go through the scripture and bring this forth to them. I've done it plenty of times and plenty of times again. But they have to get it for themselves. They have they need to read the word for themselves so they can see that daddy ain't just talking. You know, Pops ain't just opening his mouth. He ain't just saying, hey, Lord God, help my kids, help my kids. No, he, they can actually see that God is actually telling them to be careful and, and, and not do the things that they're doing. Amen? How many people know about uh, about um, <clears throat> homosexuality or how many people know about um, AIDS? How many people know about um, um, drinking and driving? How many people know about all that? Amen? You all understand that, right? You understand that it's not good to do, uh, first of all, drink and drive. It's not good to be drinking at all. But then, you know, most people drink, then they get in their car and they drive because they think it's cool or they don't want to be lame and say, Mom, can you come get me because I, I, I didn't mean to drink, but I got drunk and, oh, my God, I, I just, you know, I didn't want to. So, I mean, if you would just say that simple thing, it may save some lives. It may even save your life. Amen. Uh, how many people know that having sex before you're married is, 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 a, is a sin? Having sex before you're married is not right at all. Okay. Now, one thing is, it may be good at that time, but how about getting up? getting up and being done with that, and then the next day or a couple weeks later, you find out that you have a virus. You know, HIV. How many people know about HIV? I see a lot of hands raised, but do you know the definitions of HIV? Do you know where HIV comes from? Do you know how to protect yourself from HIV? Do you know what HIV does to you if you get HIV? Okay, well, HIV is just the first step. It's the first step of a deadly disease. The next step is AIDS, full-blown AIDS. That there can kill you, it can put sores on your body, it can harm your mental capacity, it can harm your arms, just everything you do in life, it can totally disrupt your life. And after you are diagnosed with AIDS, who knows, you may have a week, you may have a year, you may have, you know, a couple minutes, who knows, okay? The thing is, you took 10 minutes of your life to lay down with this woman or this man, and that done ruined the rest of your life. Whether you're 10 years old, 15 years old, 20 years old, um, 30, it doesn't matter. Now... For you all who do not know about HIV, I got a little passage that I want to kind of share with you that I kind of give you a little bit more understanding and kind of appreciate the disease. What I mean by appreciate the disease means that you can see this disease, know when it's coming, understand where it's at, and actually be aware of the things it takes to get it and be aware of what it does to your body after you do get it. Okay, so therefore you can stay away from that. You can pray to God and say, Lord God, Lord, put, let, me, let me put on your full armor of God. Oh God, let me just be able to walk. Please walk with me in everything I do. Amen. Now this is a, this is a, a quote from a, a couple of years back, but it, it, it's growing stronger and stronger by the day. I mean, in men and women, the reason I say in men and women because more men are sleeping with each other and more women are sleeping with each other. So everything is getting passed a lot quicker. Amen. It says it kills over 300,000 people a year. It can affect anyone, regardless of your race, your sex, or age. It cannot be seen, treated, readily detected, or destroyed. 
I mean, that's deep. I mean, you got something on this in this world that can that you can actually catch that cannot. I mean, it don't it don't matter if you two years old. It don't matter if you were fifteen years old. It don't matter if you seventy years old. It cannot be cured. It cannot be stopped. You understand? It can imagine a locomotive train coming down a runway and you're stuck on a track in your car. You're just sitting there and somehow you're just trying to go to a club or to a party and you're just sitting here stuck. And this train is coming a hundred miles an hour, I mean, just coming, pushing every all his force. Okay, now the train is equipped with brakes. Okay? The train is also equipped with emergency brakes. Something that's gonna stop this train in case of an emergency. Okay, so therefore, it may be able to stop. It's, it, it's a possibility that it may stop before it hits your car. It's a possibility that you can start your car and you may be able to take off before the train hits. But this thing, HIV, <laughs> it's not stopping, period. It doesn't have any brakes. It doesn't have any emergency brakes. It's coming for you, and it's coming for you strong. I mean strong. When I say strong, I mean very strong. It is, it is capable of destroying millions of people without wars or violence. So, I mean, you don't got to fight. You don't got to be in no club. You don't got to be, you know, mad at this guy, mad at this guy. You know, you don't need a war in order to catch this. You don't need even violence in order to catch this deadly disease. It's coming regardless. You can be the nicest person. It's still coming for you. Amen? We have to be aware of these things. <clears throat> this thing, this thing here, uh, as far as HIV, it's just it's, it's something that I think everybody should just take, take heed to. Something I think everybody should listen to and understand what's going on when it comes. Amen? Uh, this part here, let me scroll down a little bit so you can get this next part. This is really deep. <clears throat> this thing is AIDS, caused by the virus HIV-1. Okay? Just like I mentioned earlier, HIV leads to another disease, or which is, uh, HIV is the starting steps of the disease, which is AIDS. Amen? And it says, what would you do if you found out tomorrow you had AIDS? You know, what would you do? What would you do if tomorrow... You went out to the, to the club and hung out with your friends, and, and you seen this girl. She was beautiful. You loved her. You know, she was awesome. Oh, my God, I love you, girl. You know, I just met you, but I feel like I've known you all my life. Let's go hang out. Let's, let's, you know, let's, let's leave. Let's go home. Okay? Y'all go home. Y'all do your do, whatever. You know, you, and, and you understand that. You're like, oh, my God, that was awesome. It was a wonderful night. I love you. Let me call her tomorrow. Okay? You even call her tomorrow, but the next day, you wake up, and you go to the doctor for your yearly checkup because it just so happens your checkup is the next day. You go there for your new checkup, and guess what? You're diagnosed with HIV. How would that feel? Would that have been a fun night? Would you love that party you went to then? It says, how would you react if a family member contracted the disease and was diagnosed with the one to three years left to live? How would that be? Your mom, your pops, your sister, your cousin, you know? You, you're doing what you're supposed to do, but your cousin or your friend, he gets diagnosed with it, you know? Or, or, or your son. You know, how about your son? How about if it was your son and your father and you're doing everything you can do to walk the right walk of life and your son comes up with HIV and then develops AIDS? How, how would that feel? How would that feel to you? And, and he's diagnosed, son, I know you're a good guy. I know you were playing basketball. I know you were doing this. But now you only got like, sorry, you got two years to live. How would that make you feel? I wouldn't, I, it wouldn't make me feel too good. The HIV virus that causes AIDS began to affect the nation many years ago and was first discovered and documented by the Center of Disease Control in Atlanta, Georgia in 1979. A lot of people, a lot, that's a lot of y'all years, right? 1979, some, of them, some people are even, even um, younger than that. But this is, this is just when they, when they found out a lot about it. So read upon these things, read these things in your, in your daily lives. Get books upon it. You know, everybody got internet. Everybody got phones that has internet capability. Go to the internet. Google HIV. Google AIDS. It takes two seconds. Two seconds for you to look at this and say, oh my God, this is what it really does? Okay, now your next thing is, oh my God, how can I catch it? How can I catch it? Google that. It takes probably about three more seconds. Sugar, my man, chain these locks on me, though. Mm -mm. I got it. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Mm. Smell like my sugar mama been cooking up in here. Joe, there ain't nothing but your left food. You nothing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Boy, I 
I see you got your hat on. Remember these hats, boy? We wear these hats every time we together. Yes, sir. Back, back in them days, boy, with they, the head on over, we had these hats on. Yeah, yeah. Come on, yeah. Oh, sit down. I'll make yourself at home. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, Lord. Wait, he still keep his house the way it was, then? Yes, you do. Oh, man. Boy, did you, did you bring him that car with you? Yeah, I brought him. Mm. I had to pay for him, too. How much was that? Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. I want my one fifty. One fifty. One fifty. For some cards? For some cards. Yeah, whatever. Give me my, give me my one fifty. See what I got. Hey, here go two dollars. You be you... a real penny, man. Came over here to play cards with you, and you want to charge me. You gonna throw two dollars at me? I asked for one fifty. I gave you. You the one that's acting like you got a stack. Now let me show you. Something. You see this here? Yeah. That's a stack. Give my two dollars. Make it rain on you. Give my two. You don't even need that. No, you don't even need that. my two dollars. Cause you know the economy low. Mm, and I need my two dollars. Whatever. Okay. I'm gonna hit shuffle these cards, and when I start dealing, I don't want no cheating out of you today. You know I don't cheat. You yes. just can't play. Yeah, you're lying your breath down. Oh, you ball. My breath. My breath don't stink. Mm. 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 You might as well keep that, cause I won. You got a foot. We better been playing, you won already. Mm -hmm. One of these days, I'm gonna catch you slipping. I just know you be cheating. Here, man, your deal. Your time, you just time you to deal this time. Boy, oh boy. Remember back in the day, I used to be a player. I remember the lady used to say, stay away from me, Joe. The <laughs> lady, they love you. <laughs> what are you talking about? You a hater. You just a hater. No, you a hater. Yeah, whatever. Like I said, I used to be a player to I met my weedy. Weedy, no. Joe, you was even lucky to get her. Joe, you was the ugliest guy in the neighborhood. We used to call you Ugly Joe. <laughs> There you go hating again. There you go hating again. Got the gun. I'm cutting this time. The only way you're hating, you know I look good. I'm gonna be cheating this time. Yeah, I don't cheat. I won again. See, look, I told you you'd be cheating. One of these days, I'm gonna catch you slipping. You would never catch me slipping, Pippa. Why won't I? I whoop other people kids too now. Get him, Joe, get him. Get him. Shut up. If I ask you. What kind of name is Giles anyway? Well, Giles is a Hebrew name. It means wild goat. Bad. <coughs> More like a wild animal. Let's just shut up. Just play. Let's just play. Let's shut up. Build the car. I'm gonna come hit these cars until you have much. You want to hit this No, I told I mean, how do you smoke? You need to stop smoking yourself. Lord and Lord and Lord. Get what? what? I went to church on Easter mm -hmm. with my baby Weedy. I seen them ladies with them little Easter outfits on. Mm. Joe, I don't know why you still hanging around Weedy. She's an ex wife. She don't want you. Only thing she focusing on is the Lord. That's my baby. There goes my baby. <laughs> I'm a saying to my baby, I love my baby. Yeah, whatever. Let's see what she say when, when she walk in the house, call her that. Come on, man, boy. Uh, oh. Watch this. Hey, sugar mama. Don't call me that, Joe. Yeah, boy, I think it's about time for you to lay off them trees. Ain't that your grandson that just walked in the door with that got that, that, that disease, that um, NCAA, the WWF or some stuff like that. You talking about HIV? Yeah, HIV, that's the that name. Yeah, that boy got HIV. Hey, HIV. Oh, man, look, do not start with me tonight, all right? And we ain't gonna start smoking that weed, man. The day my sugar mama remarries me. When you gonna remarry me, sugar mama? Never, Joe, so just get that out your head. I can't even get you off my mind. So I'm going to get that off my mind. But until then, I'm going to continue to smoke these trees. Look, this this all bad crazy, right? I'm going to go ahead and go to sleep, okay? All right, sugar. Good night, Good night. I don't know why that boy I think he could just sleep that off. That HIV. Like he just going to wake up and he be gone. Joe, leave him alone. I ain't even know she heard me. That's your grandson. You better show him you at least care for him, for God's sake. And 
You say something. I said when you going to get your life right with God, Joe. Did you hear me that time? As long as I get these trees, I would never die. Hey, Big Mama. Don't call me that. <laughs> she told you. Yeah, Weedy told you too. Now hurry up and deal, fool. The yeah. last time you talked to Crystal. No, I, I don't really remember. Why you say that? Because Amber's been calling her and her phone's been going to voicemail and it's got me scared and worried at this point. She probably with that low life boy, Tay. Oh, yeah. You know what, Joe? Call Tay and see if she with him. Let me call this nigga. Hello? What's up, old man? Tay Tay. You see my granddaughter? Man, am I her keeper? Who you getting smart with, boy? I beat other people's kids, too. No, nah, man, I ain't seen or heard from her in a minute. That's all you had to say, man. Alright, then. That nigga said he ain't seen her. No heard from her. Don't worry, Mother. The Holy Ghost told me everything was going to be all right. So just continue to have faith and everything's going to be okay. Yes, but what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Oh, Jesus. Hold on, Holy Ghost. Hello? Hello, I'm going to have some Crystal Adams next. Mm -hmm. This is her granddaddy. Where's my granddaughter at? Hello, we have Crystal down here at St. John Hospital. I think you all need to come down here. Oh, oh, okay, we on our way. That was just the doctor. Krista down there, they need us to come down there now. Oh, oh Lord Jesus, please touch my baby, Lord. Touch my baby. Mr. Adams. Mr. Adams, how you doing? I'm Dr. Foster. Hey, Doc. Doc, would you please, please tell me what's going on with my baby? Tell me something, please. Your daughter is in critical condition. She has slipped into a coma. It's not looking good at this moment, yeah. but um, we do not think that she will make it. But how did she end up here? I mean, I was at church. She was at home. I, I had her car keys. How did she end up in the hospital? Mm -hmm. We ain't like this. She was under the influence. And that's when she lost total control of the wheel. What? She has internal bleeding. Oh my God. Both of her legs are broke. Oh my God. And her ribs. No. Mr. Adams, as soon as we do know something, we will notify you and your family. Oh God. Alright. Alright. Right. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna give you a minute. Hey, Mom. Just talk to the doctor. So, I'm looking for this. This is. This is. I mean, the only thing we can really do right now is just pray. That's all we can really do right now, Mom. Doctors tell us she's in a coma. They call us down here. We got 
Pops crying, I'm crying. Hey, you got more out of my way, boy. Hey, move. I'm up here to see my fam. My family up in here. I'm here to see my kinfo. They call me up here. David. They said, come up here. David, David. Cut. What's Cuts, going on man. up here, man? Hey, no, Cut. 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 Hey, kinfo, no. Cuts. Tell me what's going on, man. You know I don't like no hospitals. They got all these needles and doctors up in I here. I got a roll. I ain't trying to be up in here. This is a hospital. You can't come in here acting like that, man. He chubbed me. Look, no, look. Sweat that. Look. Crystal got to accident. You know? Car what? accident. You don't know what's going on right now. She, me crying, pops crying. Everybody's just trying to pray for her right now, okay? So, please, can we have your support? And just be just be cool. Chill, dog. No, CC was in an She was in an accident. Yeah, she was an accident. Car accident. She she stole her keys from Pops and she went drawing. From I don't know where I don't know where she was, but look, I mean, look, we 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 just need you right now, okay? We don't need you coming in here acting like a fool, you know? I mean, I know how you feel. I know you're emotional, but it's chill, cuz, all right? Do that for me, please, all right? Oh man, not my CC, man. It's gonna be all right. I'm pretty sure. I mean, let's pray. That's my baby. I know. We praying. We need you to pray too. You know, it's important you have, all right? Come on. It's all right, cuz. We're gonna make it through this, all right? It's been some time. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us to see another day. Thank you, Lord, for continuing to cover my family, Lord God. Thank you, Lord, for making us safe, Lord God, and keeping us as one whole. Lord God, thank you for this food that we're about to receive. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen, Amen sweetie. So how are you feeling, Crystal? I'm feeling a lot better. Just taking it one day at a time. Well, the good thing is that you're alive and safe. And God stopped the devil from taking your life. I know that's right, Pops. I realize now that Jesus really does have a purpose for my life, and it's up to me to find out what it is. I'm giving my life over to Jesus, and I'm starting over as a brand new person. Amen. Good for you, Crystal. Shut up, Kevin. Somebody say weed. No, man. Nobody say nothing about no weed. It ain't no fun, HIV. <laughs> Joe, you need to get saved like the rest of us, and not get caught up in this world and get caught up in Jesus.
Crystal. Crystal. Oh my God! What? I know you say you love me, girl. Crystal. <laughs> Anyways, that's to get ready for Bible study. Wonder what happened? Crystal. What? Don't be using God's name in vain like that. I did it again. Yeah, you did. Action. Come on, open the door. It's raining. A <laughs> looper. Mm, that's fine with me. Look at you blushing. Go get them guys. That was whack. Go get them. Action. Come on, let's start over. Hey. Hey, you still And action. <sighs> Ready? Don't man, she has the thing. No, it's fine. And <laughs> action. Action. Ah. Oh. So, you guys want something to drink? Yeah, I'm thirsty. What'd you want? I'll take some water. Some water? No ice? <laughs> ice water. We ain't got no ice, so you can do it. I'll have ice water. No ice. Uh, Amber, you want to help me? Hold up, baby. Sure. Let's go. I'm going to go help her. You know I can sing? Yeah, I'm going to. What was you all doing, baby? Just some girl talk, sweetie. That's all. Are you tripping? I might just let this moment sleep away. Oh my god. Bro. What's wrong, Crystal? Do we have a problem? Yeah, and you the problem. Well, why don't you come hey, hey, ladies, ladies, ladies. Hey, hey, chill. Why are you so laughing? Oh my god. I, just I know exactly why she's so sick right now. On, Shut baby. up. Don't you even might. come at me like that. Put my business out in the street. I wouldn't even do you like that. You sick? Hold <laughs> on. Hey, look, man. Yeah, uh oh, what's going on in here, Crystal? That's your dad? You know uh, him? Why he he so, he no, no, listen, listen, listen. Uh uh. Listen, uh uh. <laughs> Are you tripping? Action. Oh, I was at Mother Weedy House. She gave me this Bible. She told me to read the book of Proverbs. <sighs> the book of wisdom. That's a good book to read right there. Hmm. I don't love her. She's my enemy, and I ain't got love for my enemies. She's worthless to me. She can't do nothing for me. You don't mean that. She is your mother. Listen, baby. The Bible says in Matthew 5, 44, love your... <laughs> Action. Grandma, no, but she hurt me. I can't recover from that. Sometimes I feel like a motherless child. That, that hurts. Well, turn to God. He has... <laughs> <laughs> Grandma, I know, but she hurt me bad, and I can't recover from that. Sometimes I feel like a mother, mother. <laughs> and action. Grandma, I know, but sometimes I feel like a motherless child, and that hurts me. I know. <laughs> totally, it totally, I was getting it out. Like sometimes, okay. Just go, okay. Grandma, I know, but she hurt me bad, and I can't recover from that. Sometimes I feel like a mother, mother. <laughs> <laughs> and action. Grandma, I know, but sometimes I feel like a motherless child, and that hurts me. I know. Totally, I was getting it just out. Go. Like sometimes, <laughs> okay, just go, okay. I can open your eyes, take you wonder by wonder, over sideways and under, on a magic carpet ride, a whole new world, a new fantastic point of view, no one to tell us no, or where to go, or say we're only dreaming, a whole new world, don't you dare close your eyes. Hold your breath, it gets better. No, now that I'm way up here, it's crystal clear. I can share a whole new world with you.
Action. Lord, we thank you for allowing us to see another day. Lord God, we thank you for you to be able to continue to pick up. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Action. Action. Lord, we thank you for allowing us to not let Crystal talk. <laughs> Action. So, Crystal, how you been feeling? I've been feeling better. You're just taking one day at a time. That's good. Well, at least you're alive. You know, and the Lord saved your life. He blocked the enemy from trying to take your life. And your life is good. Because you are living. <laughs> I'm like, what? Where is this going? Well, <laughs> Action. So how you been doing, Crystal? I've been alright. Feeling a lot better. Just taking one day at a time. That's good. Dad, you're supposed to say more than that. <laughs> this is where the weeds part, okay? Come for me, Father. Action. So how you been doing, Crystal? <laughs> how you been doing, baby? Like this again. So how you been doing, baby? <laughs> Congratulations, ma'am. Here's your beautiful <laughs> baby boy. Another one's coming! Oh, God. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> oh, get this thing out of me! <laughs> you, you did it. <laughs> look at this, look at this girl, man. It's crazy, man. All right, come on. Messing around the car and stuff. Taking your dad's keys and whatever. Punk <laughs> old little girl. Childish, man. Right? You gonna throw two dollars at me and all I have for one fifty? Well, you got an extra fifty cents. <laughs> one day I'm gonna catch you slipping. You never catch me slipping. Why? Never pimping. <laughs> Action. Lord, the Lord, the Lord. Throw my weed. <laughs> Action. Watch this. Hey, sugar mama. Don't call me that, Joe. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Action. Watch this. Hey, sugar mama. Don't call me that, Joe. <laughs> Told you that was her name. Yeah, I think it's about time you lay that weed off. Mm -mm. Ain't that your grandson when they was over on that Wrap It Up commercial with the HIV? <laughs> 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 hey, ain't that your, that your grandson over there with that disease he got? It, it, W W F N C W A uh You talking about HIV. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that that HIV boy, huh? <coughs> <coughs> Damn, he got a tip. <laughs> 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 Look man, this old man crazy. Look, I'm not gonna go to sleep, alright? Okay, Susan. I don't know why that boy think he can just sleep that off. Like he gonna wake up and HIV gone. <laughs> <laughs> Action. I don't know why that boy think 
could just sleep that off. Like he just go wake up. The AIDS be gone. Dude, AIDS. HIV. I don't know why that boy think he just sleep that off. That HIV. What? Action. Give me a look at. Everybody's sleepy. And action. 